Now remember, one of the key points is when you uh, actually go to install this thing and before you put your nylock nut on, kind of measure out along this uh, slot because there's three different slots here all along the back of the pack rack that allow you to put the feet in a position that fits best on your specific personal watercraft. So make sure that you get that lined up first before you drop it in and tighten up that nylock nut. All right, so I've got the other side already installed. And so let's go through the parts. We've got two rubber feet, one small, one large. This is so that the rear foot can articulate with the angle of your ski. Got a bolt, okay? Got your bolt here. Two washers, stainless steel washers. One coupler, okay? And a nylock nut and finally a jam nut. Now I have here, I've got a half inch box wrench and I've got a 7 16 inch box wrench. The 7 16 inch box wrench is for the coupler, okay? The half inch will be for the top of the bolt. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. First we're going to go ahead and assemble the foot. The first part here is I'm going to get the small one inside the bigger one. Now if you can't push it in easily you can also just use needle nose pliers or you can even use the bolt itself to get it seated down in there all the way. So we'll set that aside. The next thing is we're going to take our bolt, we're going to put our first washer on top and I'm going to line this up down the hole. Now I'm going to hold this up a little bit. I'm going to angle my rack back now just so you know, I have a strap on the top of the rack. One of the straps is already attached to hold the rack in position. I'm going to put my second washer up underneath. So this second washer is coming in up underneath on the bottom. I'm going to hold it with my finger and I'm going to get that nylock nut started. So just get it finger started until it's all the way up in there where you hit the nylon and then you just let it hang. Okay. Now I use Personally, I use a power drill because it's just faster. You can use a socket if you like. I use a power drill. I'm going to take my half inch down here on the nylock nut and I'm going to put the drill on top and I'm just going to ride it right up the shaft. Make sure you don't forget to put that washer on. Here we go and watch out because it's going to get tight real quick. And here we go. Right there. Give it a good snug fit. Put the drill aside. Next, we're going to get the jam nut in place. The jam nut again, just finger, put it on with your hand. It might get a little bit tight getting up there because the uh, stainless steel works against itself. So get your wrench and we might need to sometimes work it past a, a spot where it's getting kind of rough. There we go. All right, so the jam nut, get that up there, all the way to the top, just about to the top. Now, the coupler. Let's get the coupler on there, just lifting up the rack so you can see it here. All the way. Now, what you want to do, though, is you want to make sure that you stop when the bolt is flush with the bottom of the coupler. You really don't uh, want the bolt passing through the coupler to the point where it's uh, running into the rubber feet because that'll just wear a hole in them uh, eventually even though there's a washer in there. So get that all the way up there and that's about it right there nice and flush. Now the last step is to take your rubber foot assembly slide it over the coupler. Now we'll put tools over here so you can see it a little better. Now the foot once you start to position your rack the foot will flex to the angle on the deck of your ski. And it's a nice wide foot. It's not going to uh, impact the hydroturf um, in any rough way. It will make a dent in the hydroturf, but if you take good care, make sure you don't leave the rack on for days and days at a time. You should be just fine. The final step in assembling the feet is to adjust now the feet up and down. So here, before you lock that jam nut, you can move and back that coupler 
quite a ways. You don't want to back it all the way off the bolt. You need to make sure that there's at least a quarter to a half an inch of solid bolt inside that coupler so you don't lose strength on the foot. But you can actually come out quite a ways, like so, on that bolt and increase the elevation of the pack rack. Once you've got that, then you want to move that jam nut into position, take your 7 16 inch wrench and your half inch wrench, and you want that 7 16 to go around the coupler, and you want the half inch to go around the actual jam nut, and you're going to turn in opposite direction. So like so, you're going to turn against each other, and that jam nut does exactly what it's supposed to. It jams right into that coupler, so now it's not going to go anywhere. You can't move it anymore. It's in position. So after you've used the pack rack and you've been out on the water and having fun with it, make sure you don't forget to double check your feet. Make sure that they're still locked in position. But that is how you install the feet on your pack rack.